hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog it is currently friday today and i thought i would vlog a little bit over the weekend show you guys what we get up to it's been a very busy week again this week but i'm really looking forward to the weekend relaxing cooking going out for dinner we have some errands to run today as well so we are going to head into the city in a little bit we've just finished up breakfast and now i'm going to get myself ready for the day and i thought i would show you guys what i've been doing in terms of makeup the products that i'm really loving and the steps that i do just for a very fresh and natural kind of everyday makeup i've already done my skincare i can leave the skincare products that i used below in the description box in terms of like serum and moisturizer if you guys want to know that and then i'm going to go in with a little bit of primer this one is from bite it's called the change maker skin optimizing primer this one is really nice and i love the clean ingredients in the Bite Beauty product. I don't use primer every day, but since I don't use any like real foundation, I really like for this to kind of just smooth out and blur out any pores. And it does help to keep everything else that I'm gonna put on top of this a lot more fixed to my skin throughout the day. Next, I'm gonna apply some concealer and I've been back into my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is just one of the best concealers concealers ever but if you want a really nice more natural one i would also recommend the Ilia. but i used this for so long and i just want to like use something different so i'm back on my nars radiant creamy and i will just put this underneath my eyes a little bit around my nose around my mouth and between my brows and then I use the Petite Definer Buffer Brush from Zoeva. This is my absolute favorite brush to blend out my concealer. I absolutely love the shape of this brush and the bristles are so nice and soft as well. And it just gets into like all of those little nooks and crannies of your face and it fits really well underneath the eyes as well. So I will make sure to have this brush linked below for you guys. Then I take my Bite Beauty Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder in the shade Light 2. It's again super, super lightweight and it really helps to set your concealer or your foundation. I put this under my eyes, around my nose, and on my forehead as well. This is also a really nice like touch-up powder if you go out. It does have a mirror. And again, I love the natural ingredients of all of their products. Now I'm gonna do my brows with my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in dark brown. First going to brush them up and then fill in any sparse areas. Another product that I found in LA was the Lawless Summer Skin Velvet Matte Bronzer in the shade Golden Hour. This has been my go-to. As you guys can see, I've used so much of this. I really love this shade, and Lawless is another great, more natural and clean makeup line. They are at Sephora, and I also know the founder, Annie Lawless, and she is just such a sweetheart. So I really love to support her, and the product is just amazing as well so I would highly recommend this bronzer if you guys are looking for a good one and then I just take a little bit more on a smaller blending brush and I just sweep it through my brows not my brows <laughs> my crease I just sweep it through my crease like so I will also take some of this on a smaller brush and just sweep that across my lower lash line for blush I really love the RMS this is the Press blush in crushed rose. It is so, so pretty. It literally makes you look like you're blushing or like you have very kind of cold, pinched cheeks. It is super, super pretty, but it is very pigmented. So you just need the tiniest amount. And I just sweep that across my cheeks. Just instantly makes you look like so fresh and awake and bright and I always like to sweep some across my lids too it's just like the quickest and most natural 
form of an eyeshadow and I love how it just ties everything together. I have two highlighters that I have been going back and forth between. The first is of course the Champagne Pop from Becca. I love this one. And then I've also really been into the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm and this is the one I'm going to use today because again I was just using this one so often and I like a little change once in a while. So this is a really nice liquid highlight. It has a little like cushion at the end. So I will just apply this directly to my cheeks like so and then just pat it in. It makes the skin look so soft and like dewy and hydrated and because it's a liquid it just blends really well into the skin for my lips i'm going to use the bite beauty this is the power move creamy matte lip crayon in leche you guys probably know i love this i was literally running around la looking for this like crazy when we were there earlier this year and this shade was sold out everywhere so i wasn't actually able to get it but then when i got home they had sent me a PR package with all of their lip products and this was in it. So I was very very happy and it's the perfect like my lips but better kind of shade. It is a really nice like very soft kind of rosy nude. It's just such a pretty soft natural pink. I love it so much. And on top of that, I'm gonna apply their new lip gloss. This is called the Bite Yaysayer Plumping Lip Gloss. And my favorite shade is the Sugar Drizzle shade. This is so pretty, you guys. It's a neutral gloss, so it doesn't have a lot of color to it, but there is this beautiful gold kind of very soft, like golden shimmer to it. And it looks absolutely insane on the lips. This is infused with cinnamon oil which is what makes it plump your lips so it's a really nice more natural alternative to a traditional lip plumping gloss and it doesn't burn your lips like a lot of them do it's very mild and gentle but you definitely see an effect on your lips which I love plus the scent is unreal it has a really nice like sweet kind of spicy warming flavor it is so good plus like with all of their products this gloss contains clean and vegan ingredients including Makai Berry, which is an amazing antioxidant. So you're really nourishing your lips at the same time. I also think the packaging is so cute. It looks like a little lipstick and has like a lipstick kind of application. And then you twist it here to get the product out. And I just love how it makes my lips look like super hydrated and plumped and juicy. Another beautiful shade is their Cider Donut color. I will do a swatch of this on my hand to show you guys what it looks like but it is such a beautiful more like a little bit more of a darker nude and it has that beautiful golden shimmer in there as well and again I just love the clean ingredients especially for lip products you know when they're very close to your mouth and you're often like putting your tongue on your lips so it's nice to know that all of the ingredients are clean and non-toxic so these are available at Sephora and at bitebeauty.com I will have the link for them down below in the description box along with my favorite shades. So to finish up the look, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara and first I'm going to curl my lashes. I really like the Kevin Aquan Lash Curler. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara. This has been another favorite this year. So this is my soft kind of everyday natural makeup look. I like that it just makes me look like myself but a little bit better, you know, like a little bit more perfected but nothing too much. So we are now going to head into the city. I'll show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit of the day today. It is strangely warm today. I think it's like 24 degrees, right? 24. Yeah, 24 degrees. So I'm wearing this skirt. This is from Revolve. It does come with a matching top, but I'm just wearing it with a white cami today. This is from Aritzia. Got my Chanel bag, a really old jacket, denim jacket from Zara, which I love. And then just some simple gold jewelry. This is from Misoma, and these are from And Other Stories. And I'm so excited to get outside. We do have our meeting in a few hours, so we have to rush back home. But we're gonna enjoy a little bit of the day right now. Here's Mo. I have on a cost shirt in white, a nice black jeans cargo. I love that. 
It's like so trendy, cargo jeans. A little bit like a, a jogger. Very, I really like the pockets very on the cozy. side. How amazing does this look? And the portions are insanely huge. So this is a pad thai with veggies and then this is a chicken curry with some rice. OMG, this looks amazing. Good morning guys, it is Sunday and I'm out on a walk. I absolutely love coming here and it's just so nice. It really energizes me and helps me to clear my mind. I will sometimes listen to a podcast or an audiobook and sometimes I just listen to nature and the sounds of like my steps and the birds. <laughs> I really love it. Mo is here with me too, but he is somewhere over there and he is running and I'm walking and he will do a few rounds whilst I walk and then we meet up and we walk home together. But yeah, it also rained a bit last night so it feels really nice and fresh in the air and I feel fall coming on. So yeah, it's really nice. I'm gonna enjoy my walk and I will see you guys when I get home. showered, washed my hair, and gotten myself ready for the day. I did pretty much the same makeup that I showed you guys earlier, but today I've got on the cider donut color. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like, and I love this one so much too. It has a little bit more of a nude, kind of like darker nude undertone, but it still has that golden shimmer to it, and this one is also really nice and lightweight on the lips, and I just think they are so, so pretty. And it feels nice to have gotten myself a little bit ready because yesterday was actually not my favorite day. We had quite a bit of work to do, which was okay, but then I also got my period, and you guys know that I have recently stopped taking the pill, so my body is definitely trying to find its rhythm again, and I'm very happy that I never lost my period. I know this is a bit TMI, um, but for those who are interested, if not, just kind of skip forward a bit. But I'm very happy that I never lost my period after I stopped taking the pill. It was just my skin that really took a hit, but in terms of like my cycle, it kept coming regularly. Um, but very interestingly, this time I didn't have a single cramp. I normally have really intense cramps, and this time I maybe felt it like a little bit, but nothing at all like I'm used to. This time I just felt extremely tired, and I just wanted to sleep and lay down and do absolutely nothing. Thing, but because we had quite a bit of work to do I had to kind of like push myself and then by the end of the day I was so exhausted I think I slept for like 
12 hours. I went to bed at like 8, woke up at 7.30, but I slept really well and it was really nice to go for a walk this morning. I also did a Pilates class when I came home and then showered and I just feel so much fresher now and more like myself. So the plan for today is to upload my video, which I'm going to do right now, and then we are probably going to go out for lunch. We might meet some friends, but we're not sure yet, so we're going to see about that. And then come home, we have some more work to do, and then I want to cook us something nice for dinner. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but maybe some salmon with veggies. I think we'll just do something simple and then curl up on the couch and have a nice chilled Sunday. Okay, we are sitting down for lunch now. We are at a place called Cotidiano and I've ordered a tomato soup. This is so good. It's actually tomato and carrot soup. And then I've got a hummus toast here with some pesto, a little bit of a green salad, and then Mo's got a chicken burger with some potatoes, salad, yum. And we've gotten a waffle to share with some ice cream. Mm. We're back home and I'm back in my comfy spot in our bed and I thought that I was going to feel better today but we went out, we had lunch, it was really nice and then afterwards I sat back in the car and I was so exhausted again and I think it's also because the weather today is like really grey and rainy and not the most exciting so I just want to be home and like cuddled up and we've had so much going on lately with the company and our lunch which is happening very soon and our wedding planning is picking up again which is exciting and I have an appointment in a few weeks to get my wedding dress. I will vlog that for you guys as well. It's going to be a separate video, but that's probably not going to go up until next year or closer to the wedding. But yeah, there's just been a lot going on. I'm very grateful though for everything that's happening. It's just sometimes they say when it rains, it pours, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Like, lots of things happening at the same time. But yeah, all good things. I'm very grateful for that. And I'm also very, very grateful. I was thinking back about what I was saying to you guys earlier about my period and all of that. I forgot to mention that I'm very happy that I didn't have all of those cramps that I normally have. But it's just been interesting to see how my body has just reacted in a totally different way with feeling like tired and not wanting to move a lot and just be like more chilled. So yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm very happy that I'm not cramping like usual because that's usually like a big problem for me. I have to sometimes take ibuprofen. Mo has to be like on duty to <laughs> massage my lower back, but none of that happened this time, which is great. Anyway, so now I am going to chill out and then maybe make some dinner. So yeah, I will show you guys that once I get to it. So for dinner tonight, we are having some roasted veggies. We've got some Brussels sprouts, some onion, this is some eggplant, and some mushrooms as well. And I've just drizzled a little bit of olive oil on top, some garlic powder, onion powder. This is going to go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Super quick and easy. Our dinner is ready. Super simple tonight. We've got the roasted salmon. This has got some oregano, garlic, and ginger, and some tamari sauce on top. And then we've got the mixed roasted veggies. Okay, Mo wants to do my outro. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you leave the thumbs up if you like this video, and hope to see you guys very, very soon. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you Bye. for watching. <laughs>